I'm very happy to be joined here today by Stephanie Monroe with the Lloyd Minster Region Health Foundation. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Abby. I really appreciate it. Of course, we love having you. Um, now, the 22nd Annual Health Foundation Gala took place, um, and it was quite a success off of the total that you raised. So can we first start talking about the gala this year, how it went, and kind of a little bit about that total that was raised? Absolutely. So, you know, the gala this year was... Um, Every year, it seems like we try and outdo ourselves a little bit, a little bit more, and try and um, come up with new and intricate ideas that are really going to wow our attendees. So that you know, we really are, um, and it's it's an, it's an experience, right? It's an experience for those that are attending. A thank you to our loyal donors who support us on an ongoing basis, and obviously, an evening and an opportunity to raise funds for healthcare in our community. So this year was an overwhelming success um, with raising over four hundred three thousand dollars to support healthcare in our community is um it's it gives you a feeling of accomplishment but yet a feeling it's just very humbling that we have a community that is so willing to step up time and time again for resources that are so desperately needed in our community Yes, for sure. That's definitely something that has stuck out to me since being here for a few years and um it we may be a small community but the four hundred and three thousand dollars that you raised shows just how big of an impact that this small community has um when it's needed, when when we come together, it really shows um, just how strong Lloyd Minster is when it comes to fundraising. Uh, and obviously, this gala has been going on for so many years, and it's such a great event for people to come out, dress up, have a good good night. Um, now, with this money raised, what will that money uh, be going towards? So it is going into our greatest need fund, and this year, some of those greatest needs include some upgrades for equipment at the Jubilee Home. So we were able to purchase a new tub for the Jubilee home, um, some high flow oxygen beds, which really help decrease pressure sores. And for those with low mobility that can't necessarily turn themselves um, at some stages of life, that does happen. So these beds really do help decrease that um, in, in the need, I guess, or the effect of um, immobility for some of the aging population. So um, as well, you know, we were able to purchase um, a portable bladder scanner for the Jubilee home, which is going to have a huge impact. A lot of times elderly do suffer from some urinary tract infections and retain, retain fluid in their bladder. Um, and right now, if without having to be catheterized, they're having to go to the emergency department to have that scan done. So having one on site for them um, avoids the transportation of having to leave their home because um, that Jubilee home is their home, right? Um, and avoids all those other things, just to be able to have a, a nurse on site that's able to do that procedure right there for them and right there and know exactly and be able to diagnose, call the doctor, see what the next steps are without having to be too invasive with a catheterization that's not necessarily needed. So um, in the remainder of the funds after that, we'll go into our greatest needs fund, which allows us on a daily basis, we get requests daily from different departments throughout the community, um, requesting, you know, enhancing healthcare and different program needs and different equipment needs. And it allows us to be able to address some of those needs on a more urgent basis by building that greatest need fund up. Yeah, that's amazing. And it's fantastic that you guys were able to um, purchase that, that equipment and those beds for uh, those who need it at the Jubilee home, because it is definitely going to improve their day to day life. And having that machine as well for the bladder scan is going to definitely improve their day to day life if they need if they're uh, if there's someone who does have constant um, regularly uh, infections that will definitely improve their quality for sure. Um, now for the gala for people if they want to kind of get ahead of next year are there any plans going already uh for next year's gala so yeah if we pretty much just turn a page and turn the book <laughs> and already get our plans started for next year so you know we couldn't do the things we do without our incredible sponsors obviously richardson's jewelry is our title sponsor and they've actually committed to next year as well so um we already know that they will be there to help support us and as well as you know eggland they're already on board for next year we have a lot of um ig wealth management already committed for next year so we have a lot of loyal donors who are committed to our cause who are ready Ready. Like I said, we pretty much we start, we turn the page and we plan the next year, literally starting 
pretty much identically after gala. So um, I will not give away. We do have a theme chosen. Um, we have an amazing gala committee, amazing group of volunteers, and you know our staff work tirelessly. We have an amazing board of directors who all help make events like this such a huge success, right? But nothing, uh, none of it's possible without our community, the people that attend, our donors, our volunteers. Um, but yeah, we are very excited about this year's theme, our next year's theme, and we do have a date picked out. So um, anyone who's attended the gala over the last five years or if they're interested just stay tuned we will have a save the date coming out pretty soon um, with a little teaser about what the theme will be and um, each year we try to make it a little more intricate and a little bit more different um, like I said I I kind of leave it up to the gala committee and and our events team to you know use their creativity use their mind at the end of the day they run it by me and I'm like if you guys see the vision and you think it can work then um then I'm sold. So, and I, I, I can't thank the amazing gala committee that we have enough and the amazing event staff that we have enough. And, you know, just our community as a whole to be able to just come together time and time again for healthcare. But I always say this, Abby, and I know it gets so repetitive, but we all need healthcare. You need healthcare. I need healthcare. Our parents need healthcare. At, at the end of the day, everyone needs healthcare yeah. from that very first breath you ever take until your very last. There's not going to be a point in your life when you aren't going to need the healthcare system. And so you always hope and you think in your mind that all the resources and all the equipment is going to be there, but sometimes it's not. And so that's where we come in to provide those enhancements and provide that innovative equipment that really makes a difference in patient care and in patients' lives. Yes, definitely. And you guys have proven that time and time again, and the community has really shown up as well. So they also see the hard work that you guys put in and everything that you do for the community just by showing up to the gala um, and supporting you guys through that. And it's amazing. And your gala community committee has obviously pro proven themselves as well as they put on spectacular galas. Um, and I can I know you will continue to do so. Uh, so thank you again for joining me. And I can't wait to hear more about next year's gala uh, once uh, you guys are finalizing, get those uh, details out into the public. So thank you again for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, Abby. Have a great day.